Sophia Momodo, Davido's first baby mama, reacts as Nigerians bashed her over the post she made yesterday night concerning Davido. So my people, I'm here with the latest updates on Sophia Momodo and Davido. So like I said in my previous video, that Sophia Momodo made a post on her Snapchat page and the post is all about a chat that um, Imade, her daughter, had with her grandma, okay, that is Sophia's mother. And, you know, I've already explained what happened in the chat, okay. So now people bashed Sophia after she posted this chat on social media. Nigerians, we are not having it at all. People did not like the fact that she exposed Imade's feelings on social media. So, Sophia reacts to all the comments that were making rounds after she posted that chat. She wrote, you all want me to be the bad guy so bad. And it's okay. Quite frankly, I like being the bad guy. But one thing is for sure. Kids don't lie about how they feel. Especially with their grandparents. You think this generation of kids wouldn't tell you about yourselves when you are moving mad. Better wake up. So someone replied her and wrote, Don't mind them. People judge others based off the type of education and environment they grew up in. And Sophia continued, These days, the kids are so emotionally intelligent and self-aware. It's actually beautiful to watch. Another person replied and the comment says, I love you, but I have to be honest with you. Stop exposing Emade's feelings to the world full of wicked people. You need to make sure that Emade doesn't feel alone or left out. She's expressing how she feels and it's sad. Protect your child against the world. And Sophia replied the person and said, Dear Robot, focus on you. Live your truth. Don't let anyone tell you how your own life goes. Another person replied her and the person wrote, For the first time, I will agree with what people are saying. I am one of your biggest fans. But please, face David alone. Don't involve Imade in all this. Even though she feels that way, there are better ways to handle that than post online, please. I was so embarrassed when I saw it. And Sophia replied the person and she said, For the first time, I'm going to actually answer you all. Forcing people into silence because the truth doesn't fit your fake narratives is sickening. You are embarrassed. You were embarrassed. Good. So another guy replied Sophia and the guy wrote, Bro, you really shaded other parts well. Then posted a part where your daughter claimed her dad wasn't there for her. Like we wouldn't know you did that on purpose. Why are you so freaking toxic? Everyone gets issues now. Besides, you are one of four baby mamas. You and Anita are no different. And um, Sophia replied. And, and Sophia replied the guy. Sunny bro, hey, come on, leave this place. Would you know what toxic is, even if it slapped you on in the face? And another person wrote, like, these people are really, really ready for Sofia Momodu. They really dragged her on Twitter. Another person wrote, deep down at Davido, he would wish it was Imade that died instead of Ifani. So he could just close the chapter with Sofia Momodu. That lady is toxic as fuck. <laughs> So Sophia replied, I wish you and your generation, your unborn children and their children's children, very every darkness and evil you think towards us. May your hatred consume you and so shall it be. Like guys, this is getting out of hand. Like see how Sophia has exposed Imade to the extent of people wishing her to buy. Like wishing Imade to buy. Like it's not it's not making sense. Sophia shouldn't have even posted this kind of thing. She did that first post on purpose by not shading it well. Had it been she shaded it well, it would have been different. But she did not. She shaded it in such a way that people could still see what is in there. And people read it and she So now people are batching her for this and this has escalated to the point of Nigerians wishing Imade to buy, which is not good. Which is not good.
please let me know what you think about this in the comment section below what do you think do you think she made a mistake by posting this or do you think it's okay for her to and post her her daughter's feelings on social media but personally i don't i did not like what she did i told you guys in my previous video she wouldn't have exposed her daughter's feelings on social media she wouldn't have done that let me know your own opinion in the comment section below i'll see you guys in my next one bye